So Seski was obviously, she was more than just a horse, really, wasn't she? I mean, I know from working with you and reading what you've written about her in the book that she was, she was way more than just another horse. Where, so where did her name come from and, and how, long, how long was she then in your life? Oh, Seski was just totally amazing. I've always said that. And that's my favourite word for her. <laughs> I had her for 28 years. She came to me as just over four years old, as I say, hardly backed and broken. I bred some lovely foals off her through the time for show jumping. And Seski was born in Ireland in a place called Seskinor. That's where she got her name from. And she's just an incredible horse. She was like one of the family to me. When she passed away suddenly, in her picture here on her stand, she was 32 years young, as I say, and it was only about four or five weeks from there that she passed away when she was 32 years, but we had an incredible 28 years together. Coming from Ireland, Irish horses have always been my favourite. She was Irish draft cross thoroughbred, and I've always wanted to go to Ireland, even all the years I had her, so... When I wrote my book about Seski, I just felt I didn't want it to be the end of her. So doing my book would always keep her in my mind as alive and everybody could read about the nice horse she was. And going to see her hometown in Ireland is just a thing that I've always wanted to do. And I hear that you're hopefully going to actually do that. <gasps> yes, <laughs> very soon. I've made my long-awaited trip. I've got it all booked and I'll be tri driving over to Ireland, taking my books, obviously, with me, and my banner of Seske, and hopefully meeting up with some of the folk from round about the Seske village while I'm there. Fantastic.